<laughs> oh, Sadi! <laughs> Sadi! <laughs> Oh, Saji. Oh my God. I got you, Saji. I just got the most beautiful, beautiful news. And now it's the Saji. Okay, Saji. <laughs> okay, Saji. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. There is a God. Believe you, people, there is a God. And if you don't believe in God and angels, believe in an eye of power. Because there is an eye of power that watches over you, ladies and gentlemen. This third, fourth quarter, what are, why am I saying third quarter? Fourth quarter is from October, November, and December. And I want to say to each and every person out there, ladies and gentlemen, you ladies, go and I know it's expensive to do um, breast cancer tests, but go and do it. Make sure you check it. It is not prescribed for people to do it. Men too, okay? Because men can have breast cancers, but they always have intestines and that sort of a thing. And I know it's not a good message, but ladies and gentlemen, go and do your checkup wherever you live into this world. It is good to do the checks every five years because the radiation is not good for you guys. But anyway, that's a beautiful message I want to give. I had to give this. Um, and let's go in the reading. I love you, Sagis. How are you guys doing? October, November, and December. Go check out the general reading because there is extra messages for the extended of this reading. And I'm going, I have decided to stop doing a hour extended reading because it was a dollar ninety nine and you guys were buying it you can still buy it because we vibration we vibrate on different timelines but i was doing the extended reading 1 hour and it was for a dollar 99 1 hour and it was for a dollar 99 now i'm bringing it back um to half an hour because um you guys are not aware how much information was in those readings and that could help you my readings are timeless i've always said that from the beginning my readings are timeless so you can always always go back and check out and see what is coming up because my reading is timeless whatever is happening whatever is transpiring my reading is timeless so you can always go back and check it out okay so all right Saji, i'm seeing you on a new start in the month of october whatever has happened i've seen you on a new start you're moving forward you're moving um, to a better place in your life. You're feeling good. You're looking at where you're going. You're understanding. Um, you have a friend beside you who believes in you and is moving forward with you and is helping you. A lot of you are going to be having positive people, good people, positive people moving with you in a forward direction that is going to be connecting with you. Wheel of Fortune, bam, 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 Sagi, bam. <laughs> okay. I love this wheel of fortune is here in the month of November this is good the wheel of fortune is coming out for you Sagittarius because you deserve it um, the wheel of fortune is your energy vibration um, luck is going to be there for you Sagittarius in the month of November congratulations a new start and this new start and is going to bring a lot of luck okay this fortune is going to bring a lot of luck and I have the eye prints, the eye prints. So, um, a lot of you could be starting your new business. It's a yes, go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. There are two yeses if you're about to start your business. If you're about to change job, it's a yes, go for it. If you are about whatever to do with um, financial stability, financial, um, whatever it is to do with business, um, you know, fast, good, um, you know, that sort of a thing. Go for it because it is going to be very, very good. All right. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, so lady is here and it, she wants to come up because, um, Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful reading that is happening. 
A lot of you expect the unexpected when it comes to your materialistic world. Whatever is transpiring, whatever is happening, expect the unexpected. I'm seeing that you're really going to be having a new start, and whatever this new start is bringing you, it's going to bring you a, a fortune. So, you know, if you're deciding to change jobs, whatever that you are deciding to do, I'm seeing people in power is going to be coming up and helping. I'm seeing people in power is stepping in and realizing what has transpired and what has happened. The eye prince is here, and this is good because the wheel of fortune it has to do with people in power and business and that sort of a thing. Queen of Pentacles is here. I'm seeing some of you. Um, if you are a cups person, this is your energy vibration. I'm seeing luck coming uh, to you. So if you are cups between, uh, let's say Capricorn and uh, Saggy, um, I'm seeing fortune is on your side. Prince of Cups is in the reverse, and I don't know what is going on. Um, some of you are really dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn whatever is happening this person just keeps on coming up and up and I'm going to be redoing this and they're saying no this person and apparently this young person has been affecting a lot of you guys it is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion now whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring with this person they are affecting you guys because uh, um, they have been coming up for like a lot of signs. So I think the Lord's three quarter, um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with the water sign people, whoever these water sign people are, whatever is happening, you're going to be dealing with them, um, these water sign people. But I'm seeing an organization coming down. So it could be your son. It could be your child. It could be your son. It could be your child. It could be your sister child. Whoever this person is, I'm seeing an organization um, a group of people coming down on him and the Prince of Swords is here whatever the issue is and the situation is uh, unexpected news unexpected situation is going to be coming in this Prince of Swords is coming in as bringing in unexpected news or this Prince of Swords is yourself trying to protect yourself from um, this young man whoever this young man is but it has to do with in the month of December I'm seeing an organization coming down on this person whatever this is a this is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion whatever this person has done I am seeing it now this person could be a nephew a niece or a nephew and your sister is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn now it's as if this poor lady is having an issue with her child. It's as if this child is just totally out of end, whatever is happening. And I'm seeing that you're, a new start is coming up and you are going to be working together with this lady. But you're going to teach this lady how to protect herself from this young person or these people and situation. So I'm seeing you coming in and protecting yourself and this lady oh a Virgo okay Virgo alchemist okay there is definitely something happening with the energies now some of you you could be dealing with a Virgo um, this is a mother figure that is a Taurus Virgo uh, this is a Virgo some of you it's a Virgo whatever is transpiring this Virgo woman some of you it is your ex-partner or your partner's mother or whatever is happening but this Virgo woman she's gonna help you to like bring um, financial or you're going to be helping because November is the month where you're going to be in contact with this person November and October November you're going to be in contact with this person whoever this person is they're going to be communicating with you or you're going to be communicating with this person and they're going to be helping you because these Virgos keep on coming up now the energy of the alchemist effectiveness because they're going to be teaching you and they're going to be protecting you and the, the, the person who is here is a Virgo and she's going to be protecting you from whoever this young person is this young child if it's your partner or whatever because I'm seeing you going on a new start in October and this 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 um, Virgo person is going to be helping you to protect you from this person okay all right so 
this new start for the Sagittarians, what is coming up? This new start for the Sagittarian, what is coming up? The new start for the Sagittarian, what is coming up? Going with the flow, going with the flow, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be good for you, Sagittarius. You are starting something in October and you're just going with the flow. And trust me, that is going to bring you a lot of financial stability but also luck that is coming in just going with the flow okay just going with the flow then we have a resolution to an issue breakthrough unexpected breakthrough that is going to bring you fortune okay so there is definitely going to be a resolution with a situation unexpected um situation is going to bring you fortune okay so you could be um going through a situation and an issue and and something happened unexpectedly this thing happened and it's going to bring you a lot of fortune it's going to bring you a, really a lot of fortune someone um down um down is going to bring you fortune some of you are dealing with a cancer and some of you are dealing with a cancer at work or in an organization Okay. Whoever this cancer is, whoever this cancer is in this organization, we're going to be looking at them because definitely some of you are dealing with a cancer in an organization. Or whoever this person is or whatever is transpiring, you're going to be finding out, getting to the bottom of the situation because whoever this cancer is in this organization, um, they're definitely definitely going to be they're definitely going to be um be be picked out now whoever this woman is is a virgo for some of you but this woman could be also a taurus or a capricorn now the energy of the alchemist is that this lady could have have information that can help universe and she you're going to be working with her and she's going to be helping you okay this Prince of Cups and ladies and gentlemen, Saturn, bam, whoever this Prince of Cups is, he's going to be learning a lesson, whoever he is, because Saturn is going to be divinely intervening in an issue and in a situation. Saturn is going to be divinely, divinely intervening in a situation with this young person. Whoever this young person is, is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, Saturn is going to divinely intervene in the situation to resolve whatever you and this young Pisces cancer or scorpion is dealing with okay so whoever this person is because I'm seeing an organization I'm seeing Saturn whenever Saturn comes in Saturn is going to teach him a lesson okay Saturn is definitely going to teach this person a lesson because they're going to restructure discipline in that person life now Mars is here for an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Mars is here. Whatever the issue is and whatever the situation. So you people are dealing with people between the ages of 18 and 45. You have the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and you have the Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Now, whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring, you are dealing with these people and an organization uh, they could be kids if you're a teacher because this is coming up as a teacher and um, the old that it, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the principal that is speaking or um, the, the, the teacher that is uh, from a higher elevation that is uh, but whatever is it some of you could be dealing at kids with kids at school and whatever that is transpiring with these kids at school and whatever that is happening trust me is it's going to be resolved because in December I'm seeing this result because I'm seeing some of you dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion but some of you are dealing with a cancer in organization in December now whatever is happening there is going to be Saturn coming in in a wisdom and guidance Saturn is going to be coming in and affecting um, these younger people whether it's on the work floor whether it's at school wherever it is and you're dealing with people who are younger than you for you young people you have to deal with these other young people and I'm seeing um, the Aquarian Gemini or uh, uh, Aquarian Gemini 
Aquarian, Gemini, or Librans, they are um, have to do something with work. Okay, they have to do something with work. Whoever these Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra is, have to do with something with work. And what I'm seeing here is happening is that I am seeing that a breakthrough is going to be coming out and long term stability is going to be returning in your life. A breakthrough is coming out, unexpected events. Uh, unexpected things are going to be happening is is, is is especially with work and your your situation at your own work and that is going to bring you long-term stability okay so a, a unexpected situation at work and situation there is a move there is a change um and that is good and you're just going to be going with the flow okay there's a change whatever this changes whatever this new movement is um you are just going to be going with it because i'm seeing the full and the fool um, is a tune, and there is a transition. There is a change that is coming in. The fool is a tune, and there is a change that is coming in. There is going to be a letter that is going to be coming up to you, some unexpected news resolution, and this is um, going to bring you luck. So it's going to be a positive news. Okay, so whatever the news is coming in is a positive news there is some conflicts some of you are going to be having conflicts with a cancer in an organization conflicts with groups of people in an organization um, I'm seeing that is coming up okay so whatever a news is coming up is going to bring some conflicts uh, with people in organization then we have some emotional situation some of you um, could be dealing with some emotional situation um, you could be dealing with your mother that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or your wife that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or a sister or a friend that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn some emotional situation is coming out there now Saturn is definitely coming in and Saturn is going to bring some wisdom but Saturn could be connecting you with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion if you're in a relationship I am seeing um, an offer a contract an offer of a new contract that is coming in for some of you okay I'm seeing the offer of a new contract that is coming in for some of you I'm seeing an offer of a new contract that is coming in for some of you and I'm seeing long-term stability that is going to be here with a new offer a new contract or if um, um, there is definitely long-term stability in relationship is going to be coming up and with contracts okay whatever the issue is and I'm seeing and I need to ask because when there's certain energies that comes up so this um, some of you are dealing with a corporation um, some of you are definitely dealing with an organization it could be a work um, someone who you have worked with and company or organization institutes it and you know it, it, it's different ways different forms is coming up but you are having some conflicts with us people and especially a cancer man in that organization and it's coming to an end bam bam it's coming to an end and peace <laughs> okay so remember in an organization some of you are dealing with a cancer in an organization there was conflicts with this cancer in an organization this is coming to an end in December and peace is coming in for some of you it will happen in December for some of you it will happen in and and um, between October and November okay so um, remember that these readings are timeless if this situation um, in this third quarter does it happen to you it will happen to you um, it could have happened. Go back to 2018 and check out that reading. Okay, so some of you were dealing with a, a cancer in the an organization, and there was a lot of conflicts and situation. And now, bam, uh, this is going to be over. I'm seeing multiple opportunities for work is going to be coming in for you, you guys. Okay, so if you're looking for work, new contracts, multiple opportunities, relationship wise, I'm seeing offers new offers people out there who really loves you who wants to connect with you and I'm seeing long-term stability is going to be coming in and it's going to be very powerful okay Wow what a quarter for you guys remember use this link or this link um, to get to the on demand for these reading and remember I stopped doing a hour because you guys wasn't aware under the guys who buy thank you thank you so much for your support I have so much of you that buys the on demand 
and uh, I'm gonna be trying to find out who um, buys the on the the on demands because uh, um, for next year I am going to be giving away um, free readings um, free first quarter free year reading and uh, um, free extended monthly reading for the month of January and this is for all the people who have been buying the the on demand is going to be getting that okay so if even you buy bought the on demand one time I'm going to be um, um you are also going to be in the group that is going to be getting free um, for the first quarter again I'm going to change it up and for every quarter you're going to be getting um, a div um, an extended your extended is going to be coming in in trees um, so you for the quarters you will have three months um, each month um, extended information and um, that is going to cost five dollars but you're going to be having like a lot so with your own personal reading and the information that is coming in the general reading you are going to be able to be on track with everything and know what is coming up and know um, what your you know people are about around you so you can be aware of what is coming up I love you Sagis. heartbreaks broken heart is going to be here um, but whatever the broken heart is and whatever the information heartbreaks broken heart is going to be here but this is going to be mended because I'm seeing that it could be happening with a pi with a Virgo or a Capricorn um, emotion I'm seeing changes emotional and changes is coming up so that is it clarity of belief clarity of clarity of belief so here we go with this heartbreak there's going to be clarity of belief clarity about something clarity of belief comes up when um, you're trying to figure out a situation and finally you're going to be finding out what exactly is happening who has been doing this and what is the effect behind this okay I'm seeing something definitely coming to an end and that has to do with um, a cancer some of you are having issues with a cancer whatever and whoever this cancer is it is bloody coming to an end because the universe is stepping in and handing this so I'm seeing an end coming into something heartbreaks is going to be here but you're going to have clarity of belief and I really want to know what is happening because heartbreaks um, whenever the energy of heartbreaks comes up say I release the pain of the past and live with compassion for myself love eels and renews me now so again I release the pain of the past and live with compassion for myself love eels and renew me now so if you come in the alignment of having heartbreaks or that sort of a thing just say this affirmation because it's an affirmation I release the pain of the past and live with the compassion of myself love eels and renew me now don't let people situation and their bloody thing get you down and clarity of belief is like the ace of swords it's like BAM I'm cutting the shit down I'm gonna show you I'm communicating clearly okay so this clarity of belief is the in communication okay transformation great potential is around you um, to define who you really are at this time in your life and determine what your beliefs are regarding love and communication this card any outdated idea about how relationships should function and what the proper rules should be decide what you need you will be given the right relationship and situation so I'm seeing some of you cutting through the BS it's just like hey I have no time for this BS get with the program or I'm out of here and that's what you're doing in this period I want to say namaste until next time enjoy mm -hmm.